I just want to get back to the Vicky Phelan case, and inter I, I just want to examine a bit your relationship with the HSE. So the HSE were your client in this case, and other yes, medical sir. negligence cases. Um, so they will contact yourselves and have discussions with yourselves around what's the best approach to this. Can you just give us maybe a bit of, you know, yeah, maybe who, who gives you that client uh, briefing from the HSE? Yeah. Maybe, uh, um, Sandra, if I could just say something which might assist in, in understanding kind of this relationship. We have what's called a delegated authority. And that delegated authority means that government ministers and others delegate the management of their cases and the litigation in those cases to the state claims agency. Yeah. So, for example, all the decisions in relation to decisions on liability and whether we you know, should go to mediation, whether we should go to court or not, are absolutely for us to decide. But so you don't have any, that's amazing. Yeah, no, but, but it, it, just to qualify it for you further. Yeah. However, notwithstanding that, you know, that that is the, the process of delegation, there is a very close relationship between us and all of our clients, like the HSE. So, you know, in, in any individual case, we're dealing with a number of HSE people. We're getting medical records from them. We're discussing cases with them. We're meeting their doctors. We're taking statements from the doctors involved in the cases and so on and so forth. So there's quite a bit of interaction between HSE, just talking about HSE, but this is all our 146 state authorities. Okay, so there's, there's, no, there's no level within the HSE that's your point of contact for medical negligence claims as it is? When we, we know, I should say to you that there are other processes which lie above that. So, for example, we have quarterly meetings with the HSE executive where the State Claims Agency and the HSE senior uh, par uh, uh, parties get together and we discuss a whole range of issues which would be, you know, anything from trends and, you know, what we're seeing on claims, claims that we're worried about, and also we furnish them with quarterly reports indicating what the trends and claims and incident uh, adverse uh, event notifications there are. Okay, there's so there's quite a yeah. bit of... Okay, of and, and that's what I'm supposed trying to, to, to quantify or just to pin down. So is the Director General of the HSE in those quarterly meetings? No, he's not, but, but the team immediately under him are. And have you met with him at all? I mean, do you meet with him as... as I don't, as a matter of course. course. I meet with this team of senior, uh, you know, national directors. So they would be from all the areas of the HSE, from mental health to acute hospitals and, and you know, right across the board. So the State Claims Agency has never met with um, the Director General of the HSE? I, I personally haven't met on an, in, in an official capacity. Sorry, yes, I have met with uh, uh, Mr. O'Brien, but as a matter of course, I don't have regular meetings with Mr. O'Brien, but I do with his very senior officials who brief him. Okay, so who, who gave you the client briefing in relation to Vicky Phelan's case? That would be from HSC Cervical Screening. We would have been relying on them to give us the relevant papers and, uh, you know, trying to, to discuss what actually happened in the particular case and so on. So was that the clinical director you'd have met with? There, would, there, there were various parties, you know, there would be the programme manager, uh, there were certainly some discussions with the clinical director and others. Do you think it would be advisable for for you to have one, because of all the, your contacts with the HSE, to have one point of contact within the HSE for the medical negligence claims? Um, it, it, that, that's very difficult, uh, Senator uh, Walsh, because um, you, you can imagine we're dealing with, you know, a, a great number of hospitals and we have voluntary hospitals and we have HSE hospitals. So what we have is we have key people in hospitals who are appointed people who liaise with us in relation to that particular hospital. No, and I completely, I suppose what I'm trying to get at is in terms of the aggregate of it and in terms of how you do your planning and your actuarial work and, and all of that in terms of, of, of your duty to um, 
to report things and to look at yes. trends and do analysis and all of that. Who do you do that with within the HSE? Is there a key figure or a key number of years? We've, yes, we furnish on, a, on a, an annual basis. We have an independent firm of actuaries who calculate the liabilities of the clinical indemnity scheme, for example, and that would be the HSE and the voluntary hospital group. And all of that information is passed to um, you know, a particular person in the HSE who deals with the whole area of budgets and you know, allocation of financial resources for claims and so on. Sorry, who is that in the HSE? It's uh, Mr Mulvaney. Okay, and, and do you pass that to the Attorney General or in terms of, of no, the attorney, flagging up things as no, well? I mean, no. you report into the... Well, no, uh, the Attorney General would be very separate, uh, Senator Walsh, and the, mm. you know, the Attorney General doesn't get involved uh, in uh, nor his office in clinical negligence or indeed personal injury uh, work. Now, we do have a reporting relationship um, to the yes. Attorney General and, mm. and, and therefore we have meetings with the Attorney's office and we alert the Attorney's office to uh, what you know matters which we might feel would be sensitive or where we would be where we would want to discuss for example a particular legal strategy if we felt you know that the state mm. needed to put in and, place and, a strategy. And did you alert the Attorney General in relation to Vicky Peelan's case or did you think that that was um, um, of, of such significance? I mean when you were looking at all this this is yeah. what I kind of did you look at it as an isolated incident or did you look at what the precedents that might be being set here? Or yeah. We had no like idea, it. Senator Walsh, when we received the original case, you know, that, that the added complexities of that case, it was a case that we got, we got it in February, it was settled in April, and, you know, lots of things unfolded as the case went on. So if you looked at the case at the very beginning, albeit that the facts, you know, were bad, that, and, and you know, of grave consequence for Ms. Phelan. It wasn't until a later time that we understood the significance of that case in terms of its sensitivity, okay. for, particularly for other women. And, and just to say to you that, you know, during the conduct of that case by us, our understanding was, and I, I need the committee to understand this, that all of the women who were affected by the audit had been told we had no other impression than that they had been told. Right, so you weren't dealing with any other cases similar to Vicky Phelan's, were you? Not, 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 not at that time. There, there were other cases, as we know, from the list of 11 uh, that we've I indicated here, the 10 plus one potential case. But Vicky Phelan's was a very advanced case and, you know, was very much on, on its particular facts about the non-disclosure which was set out in her pleadings and so on. So we didn't actually know until a later point, a very late point in that case, and, and in fact it was in the media that we first heard that there were similar women who and were Did affected. you ask the question, when you were presented with this case, was it, did you say the first briefing was done on the 12th of February 2018? Well, it, it, yes. Did you ask the question at that point, are there other similar cases? No, we or wouldn't. Or are there other, no. did you check in terms of reporting between the HSE and yourselves? And I know there's a huge under-reporting there. No, and, 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 you, and yeah. could, I, could I just tell you why, uh, Senator Walsh, that we didn't? This was a case which was presented on its own facts. And um, the US laboratory had written to us and had given us an indemnity. And the only issue, therefore, was the resolution of that case. We, we did not understand the wider implications, which we only learnt of later. Okay, and part of your duty is to put interventions in place uh, where you spot something. So you didn't, you didn't cite anything in all of the examination of this. You didn't, uh, you didn't cite it, that, that anything was wrong. I just want to ask you in terms of your reports um, directly to, to government. Um, did you at any point have contact with government over this case or any other me medical negligence cases? No. Um, we issue a list of sensitive cases to government, which I think is in the public domain, via the uh, Minister for Finance, and it's presented with the Attorney General's sensitive case list. The, and it was agreed in 2007 
that that list would not include medical negligence cases. And the reason for that, Senator Walsh, is because all medical negligence cases, or almost all of them, are sensitive. They involve, you know, particular trauma. And therefore, we, the question for us would be, you know, how many such cases should go if there was to be such a, a, a separate sensitive list? You know, because sometimes we don't know when a case will have the kind of sensitivity that Vicky Phelan's case had. You know, it isn't always apparent immediately to us. Do you think that needs to be revised now? I'll finish it at this, but do you think that needs that agreement that's there to, to keep those sensitive cases uh, closed? Do you think it needs Central to be revised? Be, it, it'd be a matter entirely for government, you know, if they asked us for a list of sensitive cases and what they might ask of us. And of course, we would give, you know, whatever would be required.